Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mobile Foodies. I want to teach you method two on how to do samosa and spring roll wrapper. This one I'm going to roll it is the rolling method. That's what I'm going to do. So this is my work table. I have here two cups of flour. I have here this is half cup of flour. I have oil mixed with butter. 3 tablespoons of oil, 2 tablespoons of butter, melted butter. I have my water. This is one cup, but I'm not going to use up to one cup. I have 3 tablespoons of oil. So this is a pinch of salt. I will start with the salt. Then I add my 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to add my water the water I'm using chill water water from the fridge so I've already cleaned my nails I want to use my hand to mix it properly I have to mix it very well till it forms a dough Sprinkle a little water. To form a soft but not sticky dough. So I'm going to sprinkle a little water. to my work table now sprinkle flour on it I'm going to knead it until it's stretchy and very smooth then after that I'll leave it for 30 minutes to rest so I'm kneading it now I'll knead it for 10 to 15 minutes for it to be stretchy and smooth so this is my dough samosa spring roll wrapper dough as you can see it's very smooth now i'm going to stretch it see it's stretchy it has to be stretchy like this for it to work out so I'm going to mold it back and I like to rest for 30 minutes before I will cut it out. Remember this is method 2. I've taught you guys the method 1. That one I was using water to mix the batter. So this one is the rolling type, the rolling method. I'm going to do the third one which is the rubbing method. So that one will be in another video. So I'll leave it for it to rest for 30 minutes, then I'll get back to it. So it's 30 minutes now. So I'm going to remove it and bring it out. So I'm going to divide it.
So I'm going to apply my oil, my vegetable oil mixed with butter. Then sprinkle flour on it. So I'm going to roll it now. This is the second method. Sprinkle my flour here.
I have a measurement that I will measure, cut out. So let me use this pan. This one is wide enough. I hit the first side, the downside, then I'll turn it to the other side, hit it, then I'll remove it. So this is the second method of making samosa stroke spring roll wrapper. So I'm using double boiler method now. I place my saucepan, add water. The water is, boil, is boiling, so I'm going to place the pan on it. So I brought out my my wrapper from the broiler from the pan. So I'm going to detach it now. Wrapper, I want to cut it now. So this is my samosa wrapper. You can see I have so many of them here. So this is the second method. You try out and see the one that you'll be able to do it well. 
the one that can work for you so these are my own so how do you use it use it this way Then you put a gum this way. So these are my samosa wrapper. So I'm going to store it now. So please thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. Bye. Just click on the like button, share the video, give me thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and give a big thumbs up.